you know, passive radiator. Mainly this guy's connected. <laughs> Holy shit! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mike is here with another unbox video. Only on my channel, when I do the unbox, I actually test the product, I run the product, we see the how the sound quality, how it's functional, not the just the making the talk show. I hate when when you when they put the nice thumbnail when you're clicking, spending your time and you don't see nothing about the product, just a talking, talking, talking. It's a kind of different kind of advertising. Uh, I bring so so many like good products from the Genius Audio. They 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 cheap, but it's not the cheapy to cheap. How's the guys is saying? They affordable for the guys for the good quality products. I was impressed all the six and a half, eight inch speakers. I I, I use only two amplifiers from them, and uh, you know they, their amplifier it was a really good for the price. So it is like a Ryan company, right? Ryan also you're gonna get the HCCA. For the price, they outperform always. Uh, maybe the, this is the next guy. They, they're not spending any money for the advertising. You don't see any Genius Audio advertising any place. Just the guys who's using it. Everybody's like, no, nobody didn't tell me. It's like this. This guy is shit. Only couple of reviews I read. Uh, that that's not the review. They, there is no no point. They say that the speaker sucks. So I ordered that speaker, I unboxed it, I run that, I let you guys listen to that speaker, and that, that was a you know the really good speaker for the price. But some people put the one star, so it doesn't matter. Let, let's let's see. So we have another product from Genius Audio, like always the cutting brackets with the, all the measurements you need. All right, uh, nice owner's manuals with the all. Specs, uh, SPL frequency measurements, and all the stuff. Uh, this is the diagram how you connect your subwoofer, and this is the subwoofer itself. And we're gonna see always price to performance, right? This guy is very affordable. I put the links on description so you guys can check it. While this price is like a very on the bottom, you guys can get it and enjoy it. So I had the Pioneer shallow subwoofer, but I'm not so happy. So I spent four times more money to get the GL audio. Uh, you, you guys know on my F-150, I have a running two 12 inch same GL audio uh, subwoofers. They are amazing, but too pricey. Like for the price, I'm trying to get something, you know, the similar. So maybe this guy is gonna be next, you know, the best killer for the price. So this is the 4 ohm, uh, 400 watt RMS subwoofer, uh, fit and finish. This is not the you know not the highest end speaker from them, but this is affordable guy. And you have a thick rubber surrounding. The, the guys were crying when I'm pressing the, on the some subwoofers like this. I said, "Mark, you're gonna you're gonna destroy." It. Actually, this made like a tank, so you you, you can you can. Don't do that, but you can do it on this guy. Not on your subwoofer. I can't do it on the GL Audio like that. It's gonna be crack inside. So this one is only the one uh, single cone four ohm. Maybe they have, you see, as far as they have a holes here. So they have a dual ones also. So uh, looks like, like all the other subwoofers, but we're gonna connect to power. We're gonna install in the subwoofer box and we will run this guy and we'll see how this guy is gonna generate the power. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to advertise too much this company, but I have no choice. A great product for the price. Even like a, they they offer like thirty dollars, forty dollars mid range speakers. They really good sounding speakers. And also, they using not the Chinese like built manufacturer. For example, uh, they using the BNC. Uh, I, I saw that like a sim similar, exactly same product, but the Genius Audio. So it means that. The base on the BNC product. Do you know how the BNC is like a great, great product also? All right, guys, we have a Genius Audio uh, shallow subwoofer. I just made the video as you watch uh, Cadence Audio. This is one ohm version, like dual coil, two ohm dual coils. So this amplifier, it was at the zero volume. It was a destroying this amp uh, subwoofer, right? So now we have a four ohm single coil shallow mount subwoofer this subwoofer made for f-150s like all the trucks under the seat you can use it 
or it's a 12 inch, 8 inch or 10 inch version you can use on your Harley Davidson, all that stuff. I was impressed with these guys, the price wise. The amp amplifier is monster guys. Like I'm not advertising, but it's it is monsters guys. For for the price, just just get it. So I connect this guy. Now let's let's start. Let's start to run at uh, around. Let me see. We're gonna run the hertz, so we're gonna see the movement, guys. I know you guys like it. So now it's a 87 hertz. Now that's too high. 65 hertz. This guy is working like a passive radiator because uh, this box is like a cross each other. So everything is shaking on my garage. So <laughs> guys, stay, stay calm. 20 hertz. So you guys enjoying 20 hertz, 100% on my uh, receiver. So it was an exactly same scenario running like back and forth. And amazingly, this is shallow subwoofer. Watch how much it's how much movement and easy, no mechanical noise at all. All the noise is coming from gar my garage, you know, the garbage all over the place. So let me see, Th 25 hertz. That guy is more, <laughs> this is not connected. This is works just a, you know, passive radiator. Mainly this guy is connected. So, uh, let me lift it up for 30 hertz. Mm. I gotta hold this guy a lot tighter, so let me take it off. Alright, so whatever is making the noise, it's around the box, so don't worry guys. 35 hertz. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to shake him. With my F-150. Uh, trap music. Music is running. Watch. 50% and the zero gain on the amplifier. Listen how quiet the, amp uh, the amplifier, so clean, I it's, it's, I'm impressed. Can you hear anything? Now is the music. You see that, super clean. It's impressive for shallow subwoofer. It's playing that kind of bass. This guy is not connected. Here's the wire for that guy. It's right here. The wire for this guy. <laughs> and it's making some, some bass. You know my garage door, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So if you have, if you want to run this uh, under your seat, uh, I, I think you, you're gonna have some problem if you run from this amplifier. This amplifier is like if you run four of these, it, even this guy is not enough. So uh, this is a for 15 inch subwoofer. Maybe I'm gonna order some 15 inch uh, subwoofer like uh, Sundown Audio, and I will run this amplifier from that. But 12 inch any subwoofer, it's 50% and your 50% gain, this can destroy these uh, subwoofers. It's Holy shit. And look at this subwoofer. <laughs> the shallow mount subwoofer guys is shallow. This is not a full subwoofer like this guy. This was impressive, but it's always dying because the one amp, uh, the one ohm, this, this guy produces tons of power. 
but the 4 ohm, only one 12 inch subwoofer is a shallow subwoofer and creates like a tons of power. I, I don't know how much, if you're bass head, you need some kind of, you know, two of these and half of this amplifier. <laughs> this amplifier is too much. This is 15 inch box for 15 subwoofers, right? Uh, this box is too much. With this special passive radiator, with this huge porthole, this, this box is too much for this uh, subwoofer, right? It's made for a lot smaller box. But still, the box, the size, it's the definitely is like the, the different, different, different size. But this guy can rock and roll anything. So yeah, definitely, this subwoofer very impressive. Almost the same base with the, uh, you know, full. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Here's the deal guys, uh, definitely, it's, uh, when I find the good products for, for the price, I always tell you guys, you just get it uh, without thinking, right? And on the comment, just tell me, you know, the mic, thank you, it was a good product. Amplifier, definitely, you guys, just hit the, you know, on the description, I put the links. Uh, this is, now is like, they're holding, you know, the very good price range. So you're not gonna, for, for the price, this guy is a killer. Uh, you can run, we, we can we can run uh, two 15 inch subwoofers, uh, two ohm subwoofers without any problem. This guy is like super cold. I'm telling you, it's not even warm, so it didn't feel any power yet. So yeah, definitely worth it. So I love this. G guys, comment below. What do you think? If you're running this kind of uh, setup, any of these uh, the products, let me know. What do you think? Especially, I want to hear about this amplifier. This monster, right? Tiny, tiny monster. It's sound quality is amazing, guys. What I can say, I'm out. I'm gonna run different things for you guys.